Hi guys, Labour MP and Chair of the Business and Trade Select Committee, Darren Johns, was on top form as usual when he was challenging the heads of the water companies when they were visiting Parliament on Wednesday. Now, a former head of Ofwat, the water services regulator, was asked to apologise for leaving the taxpayer in a position where they have to bail out failed private water companies because they run up massive debts. These entities were borrowing money which was supposed to be used to upgrade a dilapidated water system and instead were handing it over to shareholders in the form of a dividend. Now they're in serious trouble, but the head of the regulator who let this happen at the time isn't sorry. Have a listen. Right. We're here today because Thames Water, which you now run, is in a position where the government is having to plan to renationalise you because of a failure of your finances. But you signed off as the chief executive of the regulator in 2014 for Macquarie to ramp up the debt from £3 billion to £10 billion while taking out nearly £3 billion in dividends, often paying dividends higher than the profits the company made in particular years. The reason we're in this position and the reason that taxpayers are now potentially on the hook for billions and billions of pounds of national borrowing is because you as the chief executive of the regulator and the regulator failed in delivering your statutory duties. Do you want to apologise to the public, Ms Ross? Well, I don't accept that characterisation of off what's price control in, in 2014. The other thing I would say as well is special administration is obviously uh, a matter for the government, but special administration is very much a nuclear option. There is a very, very high bar uh, on the government deciding to put a company into special administration. And one of those uh, triggers would be insolvency, and the other one would be uh, you know, perhaps a persistent and severe breach of our licence. Uh, now, we are not close to either of those two triggers, and you heard uh, our CFO uh, talking a little while ago about the fact, about the fact that we have £4.4 4 billion pounds of liquidity. We are a long way off uh, that insolvency trigger, and I think a long way off the conditions for special administration being met. Okay, good Okay, she obviously didn't apologise first, but she was given another option to apologise in a moment. But these companies are close to collapse. That's why they're going cap in hand to the government, saying, can you help us out? Can you give us some money? Because we're going to collapse. And now when they're challenged with nationalisation, they're saying, no, 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 we're okay. We, we just need to uh, sort out our finances. We're fine. Could I just add something? Because, yeah. When I'm ready, sir, Jim, sorry, forgive me. Um, so, Ms Ross, you just said in the 2014 price review you didn't accept that characterisation, but you've just admitted to the committee that you signed off the business plans that allowed Macquarie to increase the debt, which has got Thames Water into the position it's, it's been in. The regulator facilitated this problem, didn't it? Let me, let me clarify. So, in 2014, uh, the off what board, not just the off what chief executive, uh, issues, issued a set of final determinations. That, that, that is correct. What those final determinations actually did was set out what the company needed to deliver for its customers and the environment, and also the amount of money that they could recover from their customers to do that. That is all they did. And then, of course, the incentive uh, framework that Offwatt puts around that determines the amount of money that the company actually makes. Now, Offwatt policy at that time, which has moved on, but Offwatt policy at that time was that if a company made a profit under that regula regulatory regime, it was up to the company to decide what it did with that. So if it chose to pay that profit out of the company uh, in distributions, uh, it was free to do that. Um, uh, Ms Ross, uh, let me ask the question in a different way. Uh, two of the statutory obligations of Ofwat, the regular regu water regulator when it was set up, was one, to protect the interests of customers, and two, to make sure the privatised water companies could finance themselves. On both of those measures, are you seriously telling the committee today that you as the Chief Executive of the Regulator at the time succeeded in delivering those statutory obligations in the context that you're before the committee today? Are you really saying that was a, su a success? I think at the time when I was at Offwatt, and I believe it to be true today, everybody at Offwatt takes their statutory duties incredibly seriously. What did you perform them? But we were exercising our functions in pursuit of our statutory duties. Whether every decision we made was perfect with the benefit of hindsight, <coughs> possibly not. But that's exactly what we were trying to with, do. With the benefit of hindsight, would you like to apologise to the taxpayer for being here and put, potentially putting them in this position where, yet again, another regulated market could potentially collapse and expose taxpayers to billions of pounds? I think if you're asking for an apology from Offwort, I think you should... Asking for an apology from you, Ms Ross? No, I, I, I won't apologise for my role as chief apologize. executive as, as, as Offwort, no. Okay. <laughs> there you go. So she was responsible for writing the rules. She was responsible for implementing the rules. And now she's working for one of these private companies, which hasn't been brought up here, or maybe it has earlier in this session. But 
you have somebody who was the head of the regulator working now for a private company and this private company is collapsing or looking likely to collapse. And who has to bail them out? The taxpayer. So the regulator didn't do its job right. Or if it did, it, its job was to prop up these companies to allow them to run up these massive debts. And now these companies, now that they have massive debts, are appearing before these uh, committees saying, well, you know, we, we need some public support or we need to be able to uh, charge our customers more to compensate for our mistakes. So there are two failures here. First is the, the companies themselves, but second is the regulator. And you here have the regulator, the former head of the regulator, refusing to apologize. Now the taxpayer is going to have to pick up the tab. No apology. No, I'm not going to apologize. And once again, why the heck is she working for a private company now? How does that work? Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. But once again, kudos to, da to Darren for calling this out and holding these people to account.